Hey guys, this is Arabia from Arabia Ask You. Guys, this week I have with me Glamarina, CEOs Nicole and Kia. We talk about athletic wear. We talk, I'm sorry, athleisure wear. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. with me Kia and Nicole from Glamarina. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Can you guys tell us a little bit about how you got started and where you got the name Glamarina from? Yeah, well I can talk about how we got started. So I approached Nicole a, a few years ago. I had this blog Glamarina and I approached Nicole about creating, you know, an athletic line. Um, you know, we wanted to create something of our own. So um, we knew that, you know, in the athletic department, women of color are just highly underrepresented. Um, we felt like you only see one body type, you know, that's a super athletic girl, if you ever do see a woman of color. So we decided to create this line that represents our culture and really show the diversity of black women's bodies. Okay, and so what is your culture? Well, our culture just being the black culture from okay. the black community and really kind of honing in on um, our roots back to Africa, which is why we incorporate African prints in our, our collection. Okay, are you guys African? No, we're not. Oh, no. not directly, of course. <laughs> my, not, not, yeah, not directly, but, you know, we all are from Africa. Right, right, right. So we just kind of um, decided to add some, you know, culturally inspired um, uh, print into the collection. Where did you get the name Ath... What is it? Athleisure? Athleisure, yeah. So the Athleisure name came from, like, a trend that started a couple years ago where, you know, more and more people started to wear active wear as leisure wear. You right. know what I mean? As... Mm -hmm. as regular apparel, like to style it up, to go out, to kind of go anywhere. Right. So our very first collection, we really wanted to promote the idea of athleisure because it's not only active wear for working out, but you can pretty much wear this type of clothing anywhere. You're going to always be comfortable in it. Right. So that, that term kind of became popular a couple of years ago, and we just thought it was so perfect for what we wanted to do. Okay. I, I like it. I was like, mm -hmm. sure, yes. But you know, we're always in like yoga pants, going to the right. store. Yeah. It's absolutely. quick and easy and makes it smooth. Yeah. yeah. So I hear mm -hmm. that your material is really, really nice. Yeah. And it's it like is. easy to wear and it fits nice on the skin. Yeah, absolutely. And everything. <laughs> so can you guys tell me a little bit about the material and, you know, what made you go with that material? Well, we knew we wanted to create something that's both functional but also comfortable. Okay. And so our material is a good mixture of spandex and polyester. Um, we actually use the same manufacturer as Adidas, so we knew that we were going to get, you know, great high quality material. Um, it has, it's infused with moisture wicking technology, so it just keeps you dry while you're sweating. And, you know, we just knew that we wanted to incorporate something that was of high quality and not put out something that's, you know, cheap or that's not going to last long. So you can wash these pieces several times, it's not going to lose its shape or structure, the color is not going to fade. Um, we still wear the, our 2017 collection mm -hmm. um, after washing it several times and it still fits great. Yeah. So we just knew that you know we wanted to put out a good quality product for okay. our people. Yeah, and I would yeah. say with choosing the material, it's like we, we had to go through the process of sampling and just testing it out first. So once right. we found the material we liked, we did like cycles of washing it, wearing it like everywhere and just kind of making sure that it could stand the test before we put it out to our customers. So once we found this material, like we've been using the same material since our first collection because we found that so many people love it, it's comfortable, and it definitely just lasts forever. Like you can wash it literally, like he said, so many times and it's still gonna be intact. Yeah, and it really holds everything together. Whereas right. some leggings could be kind of loose, see-through, um, it's none of that. You know, yeah. when you're squatting, when you're bending over, right. it stays up. And I think it just keeps everything intact, you know, all, all in the right places. Right, and I heard that it's true to size and it fits. So the size that you do have as far as with the bras, it goes all the way up to a double D. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess like the, the pants size or shirt will go up to a 2X. Mm -hmm. right. So would you guys be going up even bigger? So, you know, people who have bigger breasts and bigger right. legs or things. Yeah, so the whole idea of Glamorina is being able to offer a variety for all shapes and sizes. So we would definitely love to expand, even with the yeah. smaller size. I mean, we started initially at small, 
And then we even did a couple extra smalls, but there's still women who are much smaller than men right. who are requesting yeah. sizes. So <laughs> we definitely over the next couple of years would like to expand our range even more to smaller sizes and then even more larger sizes. Yeah. So right now, would it be made to order or just be just now? Right now, um, I would say if people are interested in sizes that we don't have right now, they can definitely reach out to us. And as we get you know feedback, more and more feedback, then we can figure out a solution to kind of fill that need. Right. right. Um, so right now, whatever's on our site is kind of what's there. But if there are customers out there who kind of want something that we don't have on the site, definitely reach out to us so that we can kind of see what we can do to make that happen. What was the first product that you created? Like the like I mean like very first thing. <laughs> Well, like I said, we launched the first collection in 2017, but we have been in this process even two years before that. Um, we first we first came together, you know, we thought we wanted to um, wholesale other products, and we realized there's so many other websites that do that. Right. Yeah. So we were a boutique. Yeah, okay. we were going to be a boutique buying stuff and reselling it. That right. wasn't going to work, which is why we decided to create something of our own. We first decided on um, it was called a tank dress, and you know it just. It didn't really work very well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's that's the whole process of being a designer right. starting a whole new collection from ground zero. Sometimes when you first start, it doesn't work. Um, we had a small collection of these dresses, and to be honest, they, they didn't fit everybody's type. Yes. Only one type of person could fit it, and that's like a slimmer person. And we were excluding a large part of our community. Mm -hmm. And so we got we got that feedback, and we definitely <laughs> took that to heart and realized, you know what, we need to create something that, can, yeah. that everybody can wear and everyone can feel comfortable in. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole. And I'm Kia. With Glamarina. And Arabia asked us, and, and we, we answered. answered.